Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another two matchers that is to be undefined and also to be defined matcher. So before before knowing about this matcher, we need to know what is an undefined. So if you know about this undefined data type, then we will be able to understand about this to be undefined matcher. So undefined is a data type, one of the data type in the JavaScript. So let's try to see about that one. So if I open the small documentation I have created. So let's try to see about here. So to be undefined. So undefined is a data type. So as I already told you that undefined is one of the data type present in the JavaScript language. And this is a primitive data type. As we already know that JavaScript data types comes under two categories that is primitive data type and also non primitive data type. So this undefined data type comes under the category of primitive data type. So now we need to know about this primitive also. So as you are, uh, as you have knowledge on this JavaScript and all the things, if you have seen my JavaScript course means you will be able to understand these primitive data types, but still we will just brush up once. <coughs> so what is this undefined? Now we know that we are able to know that undefined is a data type. So now we need to understand that what is undefined when this undefined will be uh, applied. So undefined is a value that is automatically assigned to the variables that is just declared. So here is the definition for this one. So undefined is a value that is automatically assigned. So that means it will be automatically assigned. So we will not assign it. So it will be automatically assigned to a variable which is just declared. So any variable if it is just declared means then the JavaScript will automatically assign undefined value to the to that variable. So this is the definition for this one. So I will show you the practical example also so that you will get a clear idea on this one. So first you will, uh, will be able to know this one undefined and primitive. So we, we have already discussed that uh, undefined is a primitive data type, right? So now let's try to see it. Primitive is just a data that has not an object that is not an object and has no methods. So this is also another thing. So primitive data type. So when we call the data types as a primitive data type is so the data which doesn't have any object, which, which is not an object and also that doesn't have no methods. So this one is called as primitive data type. So this is about the definition of this undefined and also the primitive. I will show you that about this undefined. So what is this undefined? We have discussed that undefined is a value that is automatically assigned to variable that is just declared, right? So let's try to create. Now if I go here and if I try to do the console, so here is the console, right? So everyone will be able to see my console. Yeah. Now let's, uh, let's declare a variable. Let's create a variable. So I am creating let test. So I am not assigning any value to this one. So I am, I am just declaring a variable. So when I declare a variable, so that the, the test variable doesn't have any value. So we didn't assign any, any value to the test. So for that, uh, because of that reason, so what has happened is, so now ja the JavaScript automatically assigns a data type to the, assigns a data to this one. So what is the data? It is nothing but the undefined. Now, if you want to see that, what is the data present in this test means if you write test here, so you'll be able to see undefined here, right? So we are able to see this undefined. Now let's try to see what is the data type for, what is the type of this test? So if I try to do the type of test, so you'll be able to see that data type is undefined. So here, whenever, whenever a variable, if it doesn't assign any value to the word means, so the JavaScript automatically assigns the undefined to this one. Now let's see that. Now I will be having another variable, something like X. I am assigning a empty value to this one, empty string value. So now what could be the X value? So X value is empty. Now let's try to see what is the type of X. So if I try to see the type of X, it is a string, not undefined. Why? Because we have assigned empty value to the x. So this is the main difference between the undefined. Now this x is not undefined. So x is uh, x is having string value, whereas the test is undefined. So if you want to test, if you want to test this one, so if you want to get to know that whether the whether any variable is an undefined or not defined or defined means, so you can use this to be undefined and also the to be defined matches. Let's try to see this one in the Jasmine. So if I open Jasmine here, so let's open the Jasmine. Let's go to the documentation and here I am using the fourth version. So let's open this one and here this is the matches and here we need to check to be defined. We are learning about this to be defined, right? Not to be defined. So to be undefined. So this is another one. So to be undefined. 
if you try to read the definition of this one so expect the va actual value to be undefined so if the actual value is undefined means then it will give you the true so when the value will be the undefined we are able to understand we are able to understand by you seeing the demo so i have shown you the example in the console so because of that one we can we can know when the variable will be undefined and when it will be defined and another one is to be defined so if you try to see to be defined so what is this one the actual value to be defined so that means the opposite of this undefined so opposite of this undefined is nothing but to be defined so to be defined means when other than if a, if a variable is other than undefined means it is defined so that is a difference between the that is a difference between to be defined and to be undefined now let's try to implement the uh, this matcher in our project in our spec file so let's try to see it so here i am using that to be undefined matcher so to be undefined okay so it should have common methods okay the calculator met calculator should have the common methods so now if i try to do the function and let's create a calculator instance for this one constant calculator is equal to new calculator i am creating a calculator here now let's try to see that we we need to so whenever we create a calculator method if, if you if you want to know about this calculator.js so this calculator have a method something like add subtract multiply and divide we need to check that it should be defined so these methods whenever we, we create a calculator instance means we need to have we need to define the methods of add subtract like this so we need to check whether this uh, add method and all those things are defined or not so let's check expect of calculator expect of calculator dot add dot to be undefined okay so to be undefined so here calculator dot add method will be defined right so we can use the negating matcher so we have used this negating matcher right if you use not means so it will become it, it will do invert it will invert to be undefined means then it will be defined so if you try to see the output here if i try to see the output let's close this console yeah should have common methods this spec has been passed now if we let's implement this our remaining methods also multiply divide and subtract if i go here multiply subtract and last one is divide so these are all now it should not it should not be defined now if i try to see so it is passed and we already learned about another one right invert means so to be undefined is nothing but to be defined we can also use the to be defined also here so this is one in the same only to be defined and here also i can use to be defined so if you use not before this matcher and if you use like this means it will become to be defined only instead of using not to be undefined you can use to be defined so this is the difference between the to be undefined and to be defined see now also this one will work so if i use not before this matcher let's try to see whether it will work or not so now if i try to see see we got an error function is not defined so function is defined it is trying to say so now you can remove this one and this is the code so here we have implemented the to be undefined and to be defined so hope you understood about this undefined and defined so these are both are one and two opposite to each other if you if you understand this undefined when the value will be undefined then you will be able to apply these matches very easily so hope you understood about these matches if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you